This is one of the most common requests that I get from users. How can I create a toggle button or how can I make a button do more than one thing? So in order to mock this up, in order to figure it out for ourselves, let's start by adding a button into our app. Uh, again, it's just going to say click me. That's what we want the user to do. Uh, this time though, rather than just doing one thing when the button is clicked, we're going to have to create a variable. This variable then is going to keep track of whether or not the button is pressed. So let's imagine it's like a light switch or a switch that it's on or it's off. It has two possible positions. So when we start off, our um, on will be set to false. Our on variable is going to be set to false. This means the button isn't clicked. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of tests. We're going to see if it is on, then we're going to change its state. We're going to change it to be off. So we set on to be false. And we can do a couple of other things here. So you can put together multiple different properties in your button. One thing we can do is change the text. We can tell the user that it's off. So we'll just put in a piece of text here. We'll pop in the word off like that. And another thing we could do is we could change the color just to give them a little bit of visual feedback as well. So we find the uh, background color property that's up towards the top there. And then what we'll do is we'll pop in a color block in this case red perhaps to indicate off and what we can do is use the mutator the little blue wheel there the little blue gear and we can just do the opposite so if it's uh, not on it must be if it's not off it must be on uh, and then uh, we can swap those properties around set true to false change the word off to on and uh, we could change the color from red to green like that. So these are the blocks then that we're going to be using. You can pause the video here. This is how you would create your own toggle block and this is what it looks like in action. So we just toggle back and forth between these two states. Now you've got the tutorial um, completed. You can go ahead and you can try this yourself. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want more, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a million for watching and I will see you in the next video.